Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn some awesome rockabilly style guitar parts as we go through how to play Rock Around the Clock as recorded by Bill Haley and his Comets. Now, in this video, we're going to be going through something called a 12-bar blues, and this is something that I talk so much about here on the channel. If you want to learn to play a lot of songs, you've got to become familiar with the blues. Now, this song is a blues in the key of A, and I'm going to show you some of those classic rhythm parts and a really cool ending lead. But before we dive into it, if you're new to the channel, I want to hook you up with something right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide and this is going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to map out your entire fretboard and I used to feel so much more confused when I looked down at the neck until I understood what I put on just this one page and I want to give it to you completely for free just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below and you can download your copy as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's break it down. All right, so this song is a blues in the key of A, and I'm gonna show you this rhythm part. We're gonna use some classic kind of shuffle style rhythms here. Here's what it sounds like. A one, two, three, four. All right, so the first shape I'm using is called an A6 chord, and it's just on the top four strings. In fact, all of these voicings are gonna be on the top four strings. We're gonna start on the seventh fret, then go to six, then seven, then five. So no barring, just one finger on each string. I'm using ring, middle, pinky, index. Now the root on this chord is right here. It's also on the first string, or you could think of that low six string root as well. But I'm just gonna play the top four strings. Now we're gonna play this rhythm. All right, so I'm starting out on the and of one and then beat three. One and two and three and four and. I'm gonna play an up and then a down. One and two and three and four and. Then in the second bar, I go one and two and. So that's hitting the downbeat, one and. Then on beat two, I actually drop the chord down one fret and then bring it back up. So you get this little tension. So that's our figure. So all together, it's gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. We're gonna play that for the first four bars. Then we go to a D7 chord. Now check this out. When you're on this A6 chord, you can go so smoothly to the four chord by just changing one note. I'm changing the sixth fret of the third string down to five. But I keep everything else there. So now I'm doing a little bar here with that index, but then keeping these two fingers where they are. So. That's a D7, and it looks like this, just without the root. Now here I'm gonna play the same rhythm, one and two and three and four, and then I'll dip it down, one and two and, and then go back to the A6. So that's the first eight bars. Here's what it sounds like all together. A one, two, three, four, one. You can kind of slide off them just for a little personality. Then from there, we get to the last four bars. Here we're gonna go. This is following our common 12 bar blues structure here. We're gonna go to the five chord and that's gonna be E7. So that's gonna be the same shape that we played for D7, just up two frets. So again, on the top four strings, nine, seven, nine, seven. 
same rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And I'll go back to A. So that's it. That's the 12 bar blues with that classic rockabilly shuffle rhythm. Here's what it sounds like all 12 bars put together. A one, two, three, four. All right, from there, a little bit later in the tune, there's this really cool variation to the rhythm. We're also gonna invert up and play a higher A chord. It sounds like this. All right, so what I played here was I went up to this higher A chord, which for those of you that use the cage system, this is like a C shape here for A, but I'm just gonna play the top four strings, 11, 9, 10, 9. We've got another two bar rhythm we're gonna play, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So that's down, 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 up in the first measure, one and two and three and four and. Then in the second measure, one and two and three and four. That's up, up, down, up, down. One and two and three and four. So those together go one, two, three, four and one and two and three and four. Ba, 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 ba. That'll go over the A chord twice. Then drop it down to the four chord. Back up to the one chord. Then to the five chord, E7. Then you could do this awesome ending lick. What I did here was start on the root note, the fifth fret of the first string, and go five, 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 then go to the second string, play eight, and walk it down every fret. And I'm doing the same rhythm, ba, 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 so. Then when you get to the fifth fret, you just hit that one, two, three, four, one and two and and this just walks up, that's like your major scale. Just part of it though, so five, seven, six, five, or E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Then you can end on that A6 chord. What I did is sometimes I put my thumb on that root note there. It's a great movable movable A6 chord. So coming off of the five chord, So practice those different rhythms and those different chords. Again, the majority of that is just all on the top four strings, but these are really common guitar parts that you would have to play in a band for this style. So keep working on it, you got this, and to help you even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And when we talk about playing the scales, like I was just mentioning, and then seeing how that goes together with the chords, this is your ultimate cheat sheet for that. You can grab it completely for free, just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or click the first link down below. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, have an amazing day, and we'll see you in another video real soon. Mm -hmm.